Hello folks, uh, it's late in the evening and uh, I was going to show uh, some of you younger folks with uh, young families that are really having a hard time right now with the way the economy is and uh, I don't know what to call this, it's something I've been doing since my all of my children were little, all my children are grown and married and gone, you know, I got grandbabies and great grandkids, but all it is is you just take, like if you have tacos the night before or you have a hamburger patties, you know, you fried hamburgers, just chop them hamburger patties up and put them in a dish like this here, just a dry dish like that right there. And you just, now this here hamburger meat, I cooked a little while ago. And this is what I'm doing right here, just spreading it out in the bottom. Just like that right there. Nice, good, thick pad of it on the bottom, just like this right here. All right. And you can put any kind of seasoning in that hamburger meat you wish, okay? You can use hamburger meat. You can use, I used Spam before. Chopped up Spam and done this. And uh, I've used, you know, like fried chicken. You know, like you go to a chicken place the night before and you got a bunch of mashed potatoes and you got chicken, you got corn on the cob that, you know, nobody really ate. Cut that corn off that cob. Take those mashed potatoes and set them up here, all right? And you take the chicken, you chop it up into pieces, and you put it in the bottom of this thing here, whatever's left of it, you know, take the bones out of it, pull it off the bone, chop it up. And you can put anything you want in here, hamburger meat, any kind of meat, weenies, it don't matter. Whatever you like. And you take a, a can of whole corn like this, drain the water off of it, dump it in there. Try to get them out. Drain the water off your corn, just like that right there. Okay, let me get my, my spoon. All right, and you just spread your corn out like so. Like that right there, all right? And you take those mashed potatoes I've been telling you folks about, you know, from the refrigerator. These are two days old. They, they've been in the refrigerator two days. Okay, you just get them out, put them in there. And you just kind of mash them out on top. And sometimes they're kind of hard to mash because the mashed potatoes are cold. And just mash the potatoes out there real good on top. Cover it up good. Okay. Don't be afraid to get your fingers in it because I'm sure that most of you eat about everything that you can get on your fingers. Because... If you live out in the country, you eat just about everything. But this is one of those things, those meals that I grew up with and my children grew up with and they all liked it. I mean, we weren't rich or nothing. We didn't have a whole lot, but I always made sure that their bellies was full at the end of the day. That's the whole ticket. You just mash them mashed potatoes out just like that. Just spread them out really good like that. And let me get my knife here. Okay. You take some margarine. And if you want to, you can take a knife and just kind of slice down through it like that, the spots. Okay. And you take your... Uh, your margarine. This here, the margarine is just to give it a little bit of moisture in the bottom, okay? And stick it down in there like so, in between the mashed potatoes. It kind of helps with where you made that cut. And stick it down in there just about like that. Just like that right there. And uh, put it in the oven just like this for about Oh, at about 375, 350 for about 45 minutes until you can take a knife and stick right in the center and, and hold, you know, hold it there for a second and then pull it out. Make sure that knife is smoking hot. And whenever that happens, it's time for supper. And whenever you get this thing in the oven, which takes about five minutes, then you can go back to doing your, helping the kids with their homework and, uh, doing your laundry or whatever you got to do, you know, to get ready for the next day. But there it is, folks. It takes that long, and that, that, that'll be a meal, I assure you, and the kids will like it, too.
I'll show you how to tell if it's if it's right. Take the, a spoon, just like that one. Stick it in there and count to five. Pull it out. Touch it on your lip. And if it makes you jump, she's hot. It's time to eat supper. Keep your powder and your primers dry, folks.